So Glenn here on the floor in the uh, Ezra User Conference here in San Diego. I'm at the Blue Marble Geographics booth with Patrick Cunningham, and we're going to have a quick um, overview of uh, Global Mapper. All right. Thanks, Glenn. So the thing about Global Mapper that uh, folks get really excited about is the ease of use and the, the just the number and volume of file formats that the tool su supports. So when you're looking at Global Mapper, it, it's so easy to figure out what's going on because it's just file open, just like Microsoft Word or something like that. And as soon as you dive in, you can see real quickly that we just support hundreds of files, uh, almost anything you can dream of, whether it's raster or vector, um, CAD or GIS, all the LiDAR types, all the way up to LAS and LAS 1.4. Uh, and you know the thing that users talk about with Global Mapper is it's it's their toolkit for figuring out data problems. So even if it's not in this list, they'll take a file that they can't display in something else and just try to open it in Global Mapper, and nine times out of ten it will work. Additionally, we have uh, data sources for folks to use uh, right online that we're using through WMS calls as well. So if you've got need uh, to supplement what you're doing for your data conversion project, you can go right into our WMS uh, feeds and query a variety of data types, worldwide or local. Um, Dems, uh, topos, street maps, whatever you need. Uh, we've got free and premium content, but there's a ton of free content right there too. And if you're working in the cloud, working with your Arc data online in your own organization, you can certainly make a call internally and add your own WMS to work with that data as well. But real quickly, just to show you something about how easy it is to work with Global Mapper, the power kind of comes through when you throw a digital elevation model in there and maybe drape over an ortho. I'm just showing you uh, some data from our uh, Gardner main area where we're located. Um, so I've got a couple of files in there and I just go to my overlay and I can see my, my data that I've got. Um, if I need to do any uh, editing of that data type, I can just click uh, the options and based on the, the data, the options change. So you saw the, the dem options and the, the ortho options are a little different. Uh, when we get into working with the data, we certainly can uh, do a lot of uh, uh, manipulation of the data and conversion if you want to, um, but there's such a variety of tools. I'm just going to quickly show you how quick you can generate a contour grid with Global Mapper. And there's that new contour layer right there. I can just select that, bam, I export it as a vector file, and again, we've got a ton of different formats that you can work with. I'm working in ArcGIS for most of my projects, so I'm going to do the shape file, make sure I select the uh, data type, bam, and that's done, and that's ready to go right into ArcGIS. If you wanted to do anything else to your data, you can, of course, also get into manipulating the vectors and uh, attributes of the data. We use our digitizer tool to edit points, lines, and polylines. We can uh, do a variety of uh, work with uh, the vector data, and we can also uh, get into uh, joining attributes and, and, and a variety of other tools, too. So that's the five-minute overview. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Definitely nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks.